and the People's Democratic Party in Bielsa State believes it will take over power in Asorok Villa in 2023. The political advisor to the state governor, Collins Kokodia, is hopeful that the PDP National Convention coming up later this month will mark a new beginning in the party's quest to reclaim Abuja. He was speaking to journalists in his office in Yenegua. A correspondent, Jesse Eze, has details. Political party. The People's Democratic Party has had its fair share of internal wrangling, usually caused by a conflict of interest. Despite this, the political advisor to the Bayesa State Governor, Collins Kokodia, believes Nigerians prefer the PDP to the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC. The federal government, APC led government, has taken not so many years back than they met in 2015. They told us that they were coming to ensure that Naira is equal to a dollar. They told us that uh, there is no subsidy and petrol should be cheaper than the way we have, we have, we've been buying it before 2015. And they told us a lot of things. And Nigerians wanting to try them, give them power for over six years now. And we are all crying. Here in Bayelsa State, the PDP has been welcoming defectors from other parties. Kokodia attributes this to the party not leaving anything to chance. He says the next step is to bring aggrieved members back to the party. Also looking at his track record, projects that are ongoing despite the dwindling resources. Uh, also seeing the mature nature of Mr. Governor and also looking closely at the, as the you know, things Mr. Governor is doing and the, what have you. Some of them, just looking at his body language, they felt that it's high time for them to come back and uh, join the original political party. So for us, we will keep on working till we are able to reduce the opposition to the BRS. Some of them came back on their own volition without anybody talking to them. However, a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress in Bayesa State, Ofoni Williams, believes the PDP does not have any chance in the 2023 general elections in the state. What has the PDP government done in Bayesa State that will warrant them to win elections? Virtually they've done nothing. The only thing that is remarkable for the PDP so far is that the state is indebted more and more and more and more. Our debt profile is soaring within 180 billion to 200 billion right now. And nothing to substantiate the borrowings on ground. Barely three days of this nature, the Edri led government of prosperity, 2.9 billion naira was borrowed. A week later, 3 billion naira was borrowed for counterpart funding in education. Thereafter, two months later, eight billion naira was borrowed for agriculture. What had happened to all these monies? And last, just last week, 18.7 billion naira had been borrowed. You see, it is borrowing, 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 and that is the only legacy that anyone can hold on to concerning the PDP government of Doyediri. The battle for Asorok Villa is already heating up with the emergence of a number of support groups for different politicians, even though the general election is more than one year away. For Plus TV Africa, I am Jesse, you see. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.